Good news for Peppermint OS fans. The very popular lightweight operating system is in development. After the project lead Mark Greaves' untimely death in January 2020, there were rumors flying around the internet that there would not be a new version. Still, the Peppermint OS team denied those rumors and confirmed that there was work going on behind the scenes to try and get the OS's next version, Peppermint 11, ready as soon as possible. Now that the project continuation is secured, we have decided to present what we, as average users, would like to see in Peppermint OS 11. Peppermint OS 10 has been a huge success. Some YouTubers even proclaimed it to be the distro of the year 2019. Peppermint OS has continued to gain support not only among people looking for a lightweight distribution designed for older hardware, but also among users searching for a distribution that will leave their hardware resources for productivity and not only for eye candy and glitz. The Ubuntu-based distribution that follows a long-term support release cycle is also a fine mixture of LXDE and XFCE lightweight desktop environments, combined with elements taken from the Linux Mint project. As we have already said in one of our previous videos, Peppermint OS offers several tools in one place for managing software and allows a user to decide what will be installed. Still, there are things that would, in our view, make Peppermint OS even better. We present them in no particular order. The feature we would like to see in the next version of the Peppermint OS is Minimized Apps Preview. This modern feature has been introduced in the latest Linux Mint Mate iteration, for instance. While keeping the classic and simple desktop paradigm, it enables a user to preview open apps minimized in the panel. The next thing we would like to see in Peppermint OS has something to do with looks. In Peppermint OS 9 and 10, we have noticed that after changing the default icon theme into Numix, for instance, some icons of the apps in the whisker menu are missing. This gets very annoying after a while and should not happen in the distribution held in high regard by its users. When it comes to the looks, another thing which might be improved is contrast. Dark themes look excellent with Peppermint OS. White letters are clearly visible against the dark background. But it's not the same with light desktop themes in our opinion. The letters placed against the light background could be sharper and it takes much effort and eye strain to read them after a while. These days the controversial issue is use of snaps, been based on Ubuntu LTS release. It's a question now, what approach will Peppermint OS take when it comes to the issue of snaps? There has been a heated debate on Ubuntu Snap package management. While applications delivered as snaps are self-contained and do not bloat the system, many users find it problematic that the Snap Apps platform is closed source. Linux Mint in its latest version even blocked the use of snaps by default altogether. On the other hand, there are users who only expect their system to be usable and do not care that much about the closed source issue. Peppermint OS has so far offered both Snap and Flatpak applications and in our view it should be kept that way. It is users who should decide what type of apps would be installed on their computers. When it comes to the issue of Snap versus Flatpak and distribution of applications to end users, we believe Peppermint OS should come pre-installed with another useful tool. 
App images are also considered being not only a viable alternative to standard repository applications, but also a way to keep your apps fresh. That's why we think Peppermint OS should offer a tool to automatically integrate app images in user systems. We don't know about resources the Peppermint OS team have on their disposal, but we believe there are even more things that would make the operating system even more attractive. Peppermint OS has offered a classic desktop paradigm with the panel on the bottom of the screen and the whisker menu in the left-hand corner. But as we have said before in one of our previous videos, the workflow could be significantly improved by introducing the U-Launcher application by default. It's a very handy app designed for quick launching the applications in the Linux operating system. All you need to do is to press the control and space keys on your keyboard and start U-Launcher. Then type in the name of the app you wish to start and that's all to it. Another thing that could be very convenient in Peppermint OS is a welcome app, something that the likes of Linux Mint and Ubuntu Mate offer by default. A welcome app would help new users to familiarize themselves with the system. It would show them around and help them with issues such as desktop themes, icons, available office suits, drivers and so on. Peppermint OS has been great so far. It works out of the box, helps a user to get the job done, and it's easy to use and maintain. It's just that we, as users, would like to see some features that would make Peppermint OS even more useful and beautiful. We do hope you liked the video. Tell us what you think about Peppermint OS in the comment section down below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and of course, see you next time!